I think this moment is an interesting one in ter for work against the PIC, particularly um, as all these conversations about sanctuary are, are developing um, or deepening in different places. It forces people to think outside of the box. It forces people to think outside of the um, hegemonic understanding of the ways in which we have to rely on law enforcement. Um, and people get creative. So we're learning from historically how we protected and defended each other um, against attacks, particularly by law enforcement. And we are trying to implement new ways and strategies and tactics to protect and defend each other in this moment. Without an understanding of the systems itself, the systems and practices themselves, that being the prison industrial complex, it limits our ability to really think creatively in this moment around how we can, in, um, in fact, create real sanctuary, how we can protect targeted communities by, from the same forces that are tasked with enforcing these laws, um, these racist and xenophobic laws that are coming down at us every single day. I think there is a lot to be um, learned from the ways in which the movement against the PIC has developed and understood um, their work or our work um, uh, in terms of how to develop new practices or a new worldview um, and how we can rely on each other and how we don't have to necessarily assume that we have to engage law enforcement and in fact not engaging law enforcement makes us that much safer. Um, if that analysis or understanding was in deeper in the circles about around sanctuary or migrant justice or migrant um, um, work here in the United States, we would probably be able to come up with um, much more radical solutions um, and solutions that are necessary for the protection and defense of people today. I think that those conversations are happening um, in multiple places by necessity, um, particularly in the places where people are most targeted and vulnerable. But if we are able to do our work and really deepen that understanding in a broader, in the broader left here in the US, we would be able to open up our eyes to more creative solutions um, and um, we, ways and, and sort of paths for us to actually be um, safer in this environment that feels almost impossible for us to take care of each other. The, and the, you know, the movement, the abolitionist movement essentially teaches us the, um, how to do that. Um, there's been years of work laid, laid the ground and the foundation is there in terms of understanding how we can fight back but also what other world is possible and if we take some from that toolkit and apply it to the work happening now locally across this country in particular today, we might be able to learn something and actually um, maybe chip away at something that we haven't been able to before.